The ocean plays a vital role in the climate and weather patterns. But due to climate change, it is getting warmer. This leads to more extreme weather like hurricanes and cyclones. Different species in the ocean are adapted to specific conditions and are negatively affected by even small increases in temperature. To understand how the environment is changing over time at different locations, we need to measure ocean temperature. When we measure our body temperature to check for fever, or the room temperature to keep comfortable, we use a thermometer. But how can we measure the temperature of the ocean? Temperature sensors do the job for us. With temperature sensors on board, a primary instrument called a CTD is widely used for temperature measurement over the water depth in the ocean. CTD stands for conductivity for salinity measurement, temperature and depth. In addition to those measurements, multiple other sensors are normally assembled onto CTDs to measure other physical or chemical properties of the seawater. For example, oxygen sensors that measure the dissolved oxygen content of the seawater. Moreover, there are Niskin bottles attached to the carousel to collect water samples from the desired depth. Temperature sensors can also be fitted to buoys or underwater gliders, which send information to the scientists on shore. We can measure the sea surface temperature using an instrument that detects heat. This instrument is called a radiometer. The European Space Agency Sentinel-3 satellite carries the sea and land surface temperature radiometer, the SLSTR, which automatically takes temperature pictures of the skin of the ocean. Although only the surface ocean temperature can be measured in this way, it helps greatly to monitor how climate change is affecting different areas of the ocean.